Gracias. Australia's number one beauty blogger knows a thing or two about looking glamorous while making young women around the world feel confident about themselves. Please welcome our very own Lauren Curtis. Oh my God. Wow. Make some noise, please, ladies and gentlemen. Isn't this amazing? All your fans here, this is so cool. Crazy, like overwhelming. Oh, what have we got here? Ooh. Convenient. I feel like we might be <laughs> doing something with beauty, perhaps. Love it. Sydney, I present to you, Lauren Curtis. Thank you. Thank you all so much for coming out. It's not often that I get to do stuff like this and see the people that are like normally behind the screen, so it's incredible. Um, I just wanted to start by saying makeup to me is almost magical. It can transform the way we look and then it transforms the way we feel about ourselves and the way we see ourselves. And it brings people together like today. So throughout my time on YouTube, which has actually just the past four years? Four years, damn girl! Four years. Crazy, <laughs> crazy. Um, I've been asked a lot of questions and some more than others. So I thought it might be nice to create three little mini tutorials um, exclusively for FanFest that cover some of my most asked questions. So let's get to it. And before anyone's going, wait, why is, why is there a homeless guy on stage with a... <laughs> These eyebrows didn't make themselves, ladies and gentlemen. They're on, on fleek, fleek, okay? Oh, gee. All right, so first up... We're talking top three, so first we should probably start with foundation. Yes. Now, when I look at my foundation, I'm the whitest person in the world. All my gingers out there, make some noise. <laughs> it's the most gingers in one place ever. <laughs> Thank God we're not in the sun. Uh, I usually do it, is it on your wrist or is it on your neck or a piece of paper or the sun? That's how I get my the colour. The sun be a bit hard. Um, what okay. would you do? Alright, this is a very good question. So a lot of girls and men, of course, apply foundation to the back of their hand. and. This doesn't really work only because our hands are a little bit darker than our face. So the best place to apply, apply foundation to test it out is actually your neck. So you want to remove all of your foundation and then choose three shades that you think are the closest match. And then blend them out, pick one that you think is going to be the closest match. And if it blends into your neck, um, that's the one for you. So if you match it to your face, it's going to be a little bit too light. If you match it to your neck, perfect. Okay, and is that, how do you work, like, because I know that a lot of girls have trouble blending, so I definitely do. Yeah. Uh, how do you work that best? Is it a blending um, uh, thingy? Yeah, a bit of the finger action, a bit of brushes, whatever you, whatever you like, really. Okay, <laughs> well, we've got foundation down pat. Let's talk eyebrows. It's 2015. If your eyebrows ain't on fleek, then you and me, girl, we don't speak. That's, that's a lie. I'll, I've got the worst eyebrows in the world. Let's go eyebrow tips. I want to know shape. Is it the wing? Is it the little fleek at the end? Is it the face shape? How do you figure this stuff out? How do I find the perfect eyebrow shape? All right. Pretty simple, actually. You want to grab like an eyeliner, a really thin, narrow you know, makeup brush, and you want to line it up to the side of your nose and then skim it past your inner corner. So it should be going straight up. And that's where you find the beginning of your brow. Oh. I'm just brushing mine through right now. <laughs> and then you want to keep that brush to the side of your nose, look straight forward and it'll pass through your pupil. And that is where you normally find your arch. And then you want to line it up side of your nose again and pass it um, over your, the corner of your eye. And that is where the, you find the the tail of your eyebrow. In terms of products, as you asked earlier, did you ask that? Yeah, well, I, I, well I, you read my mind, girlfriend. <laughs> um, Let's talk product. Yes, yes. So, of course, you can use like powders, pencils, gels. Eyebrows are really personal. They're such a yeah specific thing. Like you know, that just suit your face. So, whatever you like. Do you That's use an I eyebrow say. pencil to fill it in, or I is use that everything? I you... use brow powder. I use a pencil. I use the whole kit and caboodle. How long, on average, should it take to do your brows? Oh, a little bit too long. Like I, 10 I, minutes? 20 yeah, minutes? Yeah, but in a scheme of things, I feel like it takes too long, but... So whatever you're comfortable with. Amen. Yes. Okay, well, let's, <laughs> let's talk now a little about lashes. We've done foundation, we've done eyebrows. We'll talk lashes. 
Have, has anyone seen Lauren Curtis on a billboard on the side of a building at all soon? She's got over three million subscribers. She's just been made the face of YouTube, which is insane. How did this happen? And the first time I look at your eyebrow, can I just say, your eyes pop like crazy. How does that happen? Gosh. What is that witchcraft? <laughs> well, that witchcraft is actually my dad's genetics. Shout out to dad. <laughs> your dad? <laughs> yes, he has really, really long eyelashes and I was lucky enough to inherit them. So that's for it all Okay, that's, that's lucky for you. I've got like these baby nothing lashes. And I'm sure some people out there got no lashes. How do I make them pop? How do I build that up? Without mascara, it looks like I have no eyelashes, so I'm, I'm in the same boat. But okay, cool. Basically, my number one tip is a lot of people actually apply mascara, um, you know, upwards, and then they pull it out towards their ears, and it makes sense. But it's actually much more effective if you pull it straight upwards and then towards your nose. You're kind of pulling them in the opposite direction that they naturally kind of like sit, which is, I guess, kind of sounding weird, but it actually pulls them straighter, which kind of shows more of the root, so you can see more of the root to the tip. And it means you don't have to curl your eyelashes with a curler because I get scared that they're going to like get chopped off and I just don't want to go near an eyelash curler, so... Okay, this is all just... I'm, I'm getting so much education right now. Yeah. Do I apply my mascara when it's wet or when it's dry? After my second layer comes on, how do I do that? Good question, okay. Oh, thank you. I actually... It depends on the mascara. I like one that's like in between. If it's too wet, if the formula's too wet, it's, you're gonna be like applying a million, um, a million layers and nothing's gonna happen. If it's too dry, it's gonna be all crumbly and gross, but if it's can you kind of in the middle, you get that nice period where it dries a little bit, you can add another layer, dries a bit, yeah. add another layer. So I think it's in the mascara formula. I want you just to look straight down that. Can you guys see those eyes? <laughs> can you see that? I'm, I'm, I'm wearing false lashes today, so that's cheating, but. <laughs> Are guys allowed to wear false eyelashes? Yes. I just got a green pass to looking damn fine. I'm cool with that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is Lauren Curtis. It's the queen of Australian beauty. Let's give it up. This girl's the face of YouTube. It is amazing. And she's just given you some outstanding tips. So selfie game better be off tap next time I see you all. Let's give it up for Lauren Curtis. This is fantastic. I was going to see if Marty was out in the crowd. Is he Marty there at all? Marty, where are you? I bet hey. Marty doesn't know. Hey, um, hey, Lauren, um, I was just wondering if, uh, if you've got, like, um, uh, if your eyebrows, if you have trouble with them, like, in the middle bit, like, what do you do? Marty, are you pretending to be a girl and asking about your monobrow? Where is No, it? this is Jess. Hey, <laughs> hey. Okay, it's just, it's just me. It's, 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 it's just me. Sorry, guys. All right, um, Marty, no. She's not going to answer no, your monobrow real, question. So for real, real question, though. Real, real question. Yeah, real what question? do you do with the middle, with the middle bit? Okay, help uh, Marty with his monobrow. How does that work? It's, a, it's an ethnic thing. I've got, I'm Lebanese. I get, it's always, it just, it just grows. A good old pair of tweezers. <laughs> I'll sort oh. you out after tonight. I'll get some tweezers. <laughs> oh, there's some a tool flat. Do you guys have, have a plot? <laughs> there we go. Do you want to ask her a question? Here we go. You got one question to ask, Lauren Curtis. Um, how do you get like your eyeshadow like smoky and? Stuff? Oh, the smoky eyeshadow. The, are you talking about That's that Kardashian true. smoky eye? That how does that work? Well, it is all in, in my opinion, in the brush. You want a big, like, nice, round, fluffy brush. And I generally actually like to start with a lighter shade and work towards a darker shade. That's what I do too. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. It's much easier to work upwards and to add rather than to take away. If you, if you go straight in with black, a little bit scary. If you add, you know, a, like a light shade, then a medium brown, then a dark brown, and then a black, a bit safer. My mind is blown. I'm done. Lauren yeah. Curtis, let's give it up for her, ladies and gentlemen. Let's thank the girls as well. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> we got one more question. Oh, we got one more question? Uh, yeah. Okay. The questions just keep rolling in. Well, we've got the queen of beauty right now. Why wouldn't you have a question? Um, I just wanted to ask, what advice would you give to someone like me who's like, who wants to start out on YouTube and do something like beauty and stuff? I'll leave it to the experts. Question. Okay, so my number one tip is for you to just make sure that you're sure about it before you commit to it. Because... It's a, it's a really amazing, amazing, you know, world out there, but um, if you're not sure about it and it doesn't go necessarily, if people say mean things or nice things, you're much yeah. more easily affected by it if you're not sure about doing it in the first place, but if you're, you know, 100% sure about it and confident in, in what you're going to produce and, um, you know, share with the world, then no matter what happens, you're going to stand behind yourself and be confident and proud and... I definitely say, it sounds really, really cliche and it's kind of lame to say, but stay true to yourself because if you get lots of, if you get lots of... <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Lauren Curtis. 
Let's make some noise! Oh man. Hey, how were the meet and greets last night? You had them. I know you would have met so many people. Was it really cool meeting up with your fans? Amazing. It's always the best experience, like actually seeing the people that watch me. Thank you, love you too. <laughs> Amazing. Hey, did anyone go to the meet and greet yesterday? We know the influence you have on so many people and it was actually really cool because we managed to catch some girls and they, sh they shared a striking resemblance with someone I'm talking to right now. Ooh. Lauren Curtis. She has like inspired me so much to be able to do like beauty things and beauty related things and just like live life really. <laughs> Stuff to test out and try as well, like from her opinions and everything. Aww. Is it really cool to know that you're like that you're helping girls get through the day? Yes, that's half the reason why this is so incredible to me. Like these people actually care about what I have to say and what I like and what I do and invest their own time in me. It's cool. It's crazy. Well, it's makeup. There are no rules, like you say. And guys, girls, you can get makeup. Any guy out there that's worrying about makeup, you can do it. You can do yes. it. What I wanted to kind of finish on yeah. is just kind of, kind of to wrap it all up is that in my opinion makeup should be something that is fun and lighthearted and not to be taken too too seriously so I'd probably say that you know at the end of the day makeup the, there are no rules when it comes to makeup only, only guidelines and you can choose whether or not you want to follow them if you want to be unconventional and do what everybody else doesn't do then that's awesome not enough people do that so you should really be proud of yourself if that's the way you go um, and makeup washes off at the end of the day it's not serious and it should be fun and that's what I have to say <laughs> Lauren Curtis ladies and gentlemen thank you thank you so much Lauren see you guys thank you. Hey. let's give it up for